Alright guys, so I'm back up here at the boss fight. Uh, this is going to be a fun one. This one can be quite challenging, um, but just take it one step at a time. There are some, some tutorials on how to make this easier, um, such as you know activating one side of the boss, quitting, starting the game back up, and then entering it in and going to the other side and activating that side of the boss, and then going in one more time uh, to finish him off. Um, you'll kind of see what I mean here soon enough. So right here, we're going to fall right down. So once we get down here to the bottom, we are going to run off straight to the right. So right now, you can see that big guy. That is the bed of chaos. Run, run, run. So... In this area, we're going to take out this section right right here. Yeah. Get in here. Start attacking. And hack away. There we go. Okay, so now he's got that arm. He's a little scarier. We're going to get out of here as soon as we can. And certain areas of this map should start falling apart. So that is disappointing. Uh, you can see why... That is a hard boss. So I'll explain a little bit further before kind of cutting up to that. So after you take out the first arm, if you actually quit the game, like save and quit, go back to the main menu and start again, then uh, you can start with that arm already activated. And then you go to the next arm, which is on the left side of the entry, um, allowing you to just do one at a time, a time, avoiding kind of that map falling apart part. Um, I'm just going to take it on and see how it goes. If I have to take that method, I will. Um, last time I took him on, I didn't use that method. So, um, I'll catch you guys back at that boss. Sadly, uh, it's just kind of part of it. We're, I'm going to die here and there just because the map can fall apart at like really any time. Um, but if you want to take that other method of just kind of save and quit, feel free. I think that's a, just an easier method. So, I'll catch you guys when I get back up to the boss. Okay, so we're back up here at the boss. So, each time you die, you're going to have to run your way back up here. Just best to avoid the enemies. Just kind of sprint past them. As this is kind of a longer run to the boss. Um, but you'll see here, actually, that I was incorrect about the dying. Um, once you actually release one arm, it stays released. So, you can see here, he's got a big fiery arm. So, right now, I'm actually just going to take it kind of slow. And try to shield. Those attacks. As I don't really want to deal with. Uh, getting whipped around. Ooh. Okay. So that's okay. That might not be okay. Shield. Shield. Kind of getting stuck in a, a bit. All right, so just kind of walk and shield. He's gonna keep bouncing you back. Sprint a little bit. Look for that hand. Sprint, and now you're in. Come on. There we go. He's running out of stamina. Uh, 
Okay, so let's get out a little bit. Let's move a little bit. Use up all those beautiful flasks. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Going for that. Nope. Okay. Okay, so that's actually good. Uh, we released one of the arms. Uh, you can see I just, you know, give it one death per arm. It should be okay. Now we're going to try to jump right up the middle and um, catch the heart, basically. Hey, guys. So we're back up here at the boss. Um, I actually put on, what is that ring? Uh, the wolf ring? Yeah, wolf ring to boost poise um, here just in case. I don't know if it will actually help with how large his attacks are when they're doing the swinging attack. Um you just want to try to not get knocked off your feet, basically. Um, also here, they're gonna he's going to bait you into trying to jump right up the middle. And then just kind of swing and hit you. So you can see that root right there. I got greedy on my last one, thinking I can make that jump right away. So let's go wait for one of his attacks. Let's see if he does a sweeping move. Okay. And now he should do a splatter. Alright, let's see if I can make this jump. Okay, so go in here. He can still hit you, so go quick. Give that a good roll. Give it a good roll. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. Let's get a flask in there. We got some health still. And that, guys, is the better chaos. Hey, guys, so we're back up here at the boss. Um, I actually put on, what is that ring? Uh, the wolf ring? Yeah, wolf ring to boost poise. Um, here, just in case. I don't know if it'll actually help with how large his attacks are when they're doing the swinging attack. Um, you just want to try to not get knocked off your feet, basically. Um, also here, they're gonna, he's gonna bait you into trying to jump right up the middle, and then just kind of swing and hit you. So you can see that root right there. I got greedy on my last one, thinking I can make that jump right away. So let's go wait for one of his attacks. Let's see if he does a sweeping move. Okay. And now he should do a splatter. Alright, let's see if I can make this jump. Okay, so go in here. He can still hit you, so go quick. Give that a good roll. Give it a good roll. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. Let's get a flask in there. We got some health still. And that, guys, is the better chaos. We can now exit this area. You can see a massive amount of souls has been gifted to us. Um, this is one of the four Lord's Vessels. Let's give myself some health. So we got three more of those to go. A couple more side bosses. And then it's pretty much the end of the game. So now that we're back here at Friar Link Shrine, uh, we have one of the Lord's Vessels. Uh, we have another one that's down in basically the Catacombs area. Another we can go to a Norlando. Um, I kind of like the Norlando place a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead over there. Um, so let's go warp there now. And let's go up our Estus flask essentially. So we are going to take on this firekeeper. Alright. 
now that we don't need this. Alright, so we have a Firekeeper Soul. Uh, we can use that when we get to the next bonfire. We can uh, warp there, back to Firelink Shrine, and up our Estus, Estus Flask to plus four. Alright guys, I'll catch you on my next video.